didn't just happen to me. It didn't just happen to me. It didn't just happen to me. It happened to my friend. It happened to my little sister. It happened to my roommate. It happened to my brother's friend. They didn't think it would happen to them either. I didn't think it would happen to me. But it did. It happened because of my decision to drink. It happened because of their decision to drink. And it can happen to you too. Some teens would say drinking is no big deal, but these teens and adults learned the hard way. This could be you. I used to get good grades in school and be involved in sports. When I met some new friends and started drinking with them, I thought I was just having fun. I always wanted to go to college, but when I applied, I couldn't get in because my grades went down when I started partying more and studying less. Now my life is on hold until I can get my grades back up. I might never be able to get the career I want if I can't get the college degree I need. I didn't know that having a little fun could affect my future like this. If I hadn't started partying, I'd be in college right now and on my way to a successful career. When I started drinking for fun with my friends in college, I knew there was no way I would become an alcoholic. I had complete control over my drinking, and I drank responsibly. I never puked, and I would never drink and drive. Drinking was just for fun. Of course, we could have fun without drinking too, but not as much fun. Drinking is just what college students do. When I graduated and started my career, it was great to unwind with a few drinks and some friends after work. We didn't even do it every day. It was just to relax on those really stressful days. People would say I drank too much, but I never got wasted and I didn't drink all the time, just to relax and have fun. When I got a DUI, I just started carpooling to work. It was actually better that way, except when I had places to go other than work. But at least the car people I carpooled with always had a designated driver for our after-work social gatherings. One day, I had to do a random UA at work. I thought the results must have been wrong. I mean, I hadn't had a drink in two days. Anyway, he fired me. With my skills, I was sure I'd get another job quickly. In the meantime, at least, I had more time for fun and relaxation. That was two years ago. I didn't think so at the time, but when I look back, having fun and relaxing were always more important to me than anything else. It just took over my life. I am an alcoholic. If I could do it all over again, I'd do it without the partying. That's what started it all. I'd seen the drunk driving videos. I knew that it would never happen to me. I didn't have much to drink that night. And I'm always extra careful when I drive after I've been drinking. My friends were in worse shape than I was. Someone had to drive, home, to drive them home. When I turned the corner, there was a kid crossing the street. I couldn't stop in time. If I hadn't been drinking, he'd still be alive. I'll never be able to forget about how my decision ended a life and devastated that little boy's family and mine. It seemed like everyone partied in college. We both did too. That's how we met. I wish we would have known sooner that not everyone drank. Drinking seemed to make sex easier and more exciting. If we hadn't hung around with the crowd we did, we would have made different choices. I only slept with a couple of guys and I never knew I had gotten chlamydia. There were no symptoms. I had a few more partners than she did. When we got married, I didn't even know I had genital warts. I never saw any warts. She was on birth control for a couple of years, but now we're ready to have kids. And I can't get pregnant. I got genital warts from him and now I have cervical cancer. It's spreading and I'll have to get a hysterectomy or I'll die from it. We'll never be able to have kids. If I had known that drinking and having sex before marriage would hurt my future wife and affect my ability to have a family, I would have made different choices. Now you know, breaking the law has consequences, not just legal. Not just short term. Not just coincidental. Not just meaningless. But serious. And lifelong.